I'm going to be using some little jumper cables in order to assist me with that. If you want to use a Raspberry Pi with this, this will plug directly into the GPIO connector on the Raspberry Pi. Now, once again, let's take a peek at the back of our display. And we saw this before, that there's a little jumper down here that puts it into SPI or I2C mode, and this is currently in SPI mode. Now, when you go into I2C or SPI mode, the function of a couple of the pins change, and they have a little chart over here that shows you that. Uh, interestingly, when you're in I2C mode, you can use this DC connection and either bring it high or low, and that will set the I2C address. But we're going to use our little wave share display in SPI mode, so let's take a look at how we are going to do that.